signing is Lo is Lexi. Lexi Gray Snout. And that's my grand my grandpa. Great grandpa. Wait no. <laughs> no. <laughs> grandpa. <laughs> He he just, he loves sailing and stuff and writing about adventures and well he bought a mirror for his daughter basic or I mean well, my mom. <laughs> This mirror was like no other mirror. And it had. It, it was just so weird. He saw the mirror and didn't understand it. Sometimes it would just have this rainbow glare to it and no reflection, at least barely. He wondered why it was like this, but he would always write things in his journal. And well, his daughter one day, and well, his daughter, slash my mom, one day when she was little, She saw the mirror, and it was supposed to be a, bir a birthday present for her that year. But she found it in her da his dad's her dad's office. She is she instantly instantly fell in love with it. But then Grandpa came in, and well. She she didn't get in trouble. In fact, he just let her have it now. Because the secrets the secret of the birthday present isn't there. And he said that you have plenty more. And she was so excited. <laughs> until until um my grandpa canoe it. Um, one day she decided that she wanted to look at it, but then, but then, her older brother came in to speak to her, but he tripped, and she fell in the mirror. When my uncle got up, he couldn't find her anywhere. He screamed her name, but there was no response. But their dad, um, my grandpa, he came running in like, "What's the wrong? What's wrong?" And he said that she's that I that it, I'm sorry, I keep doing that. Um, my uncle. Uh, let me just tell say what his name is. His name is James. That's my uncle's name. Um, my uncle, James, he told him what happened, and he was so off-sounding when he responded to him, to my, to James. He stuck his paw to the mirror, and his paw melted like inside the mirror like nothing he'd ever seen he didn't he he said that they're just he's had no words he's speechless for all for yeah so he told James just to He 
thought about it for a minute. And he said, I'm going to find her. So he went into the mirror. James and my grandma would, oh, every day they would wait for them to come back. But one particular day, my grandpa, well, my mom, she blasted out of that mirror, screaming. She was so scared. My, my grandma was desperately wanting to know where my grandpa was. My, all my mom said was he was taken by, by something. She didn't know what the heck it was, but was taken. There was fighting, screaming, pain, screaming and pain, pee, pets. It, it was, it was crazy. She never, she didn't know what, she, what to do. Her, her mom said, um, my grandma said, said to describe it as good as she could, and she did that. She did exactly that, and they, they, they didn't even know what it was. So the only thing they had to do, the mirror, was, was sell it. Anyone who came. I would rather say everyone who came. They took one look at the mirror and they said, I don't see my reflection, and left. Like, they were never there. My mom didn't know what she would do. She tried to sell this thing like crazy. Then she fought. She fought how stupid she was. She thought if her daughter came back through the mirror, then the only way for him to come back was through the mirror. She was stupid to keep it, to, to try to sell it. So she locked it in her room. She locked it in her room where no one would ever be. Where everyone who's was banned to go through there. And, oh, sorry. And did I mention, the portal also, it was still the same weird little rainbow glitter, glimmer to it, but it never really, you could touch it and not fall straight through until whatever the, Heck, my mom and my my grandpa was. <sighs> my grandma, she walked into the dark little room in the house. She took the mirror, laid it down on the floor, and left it there. And, well... The curious kid and me and my brother was. We wanted to check out the mirror. So my brother took a match and lightened it. He lightened the candle and was finally able to see something. They found, they found the mirror through a bunch of junk. It's kind of a little attic, but we don't have an attic, so this is kind of our, our storage room. The mirror was so weird. Yeah. My mom, she looked at it and she just saw it. It hasn't been, and all she said to her brother was, Mom said that it hasn't been used. Well, I mean, sorry. And Grandma said that it hasn't been, it hadn't been used in three years. And, well, my brother was 
to see wanted to see the portal the portal to whatever the heck that place was was open and it was the third year of all those years before or the two years before it was actually open they both looked at each other and fought to themselves well fought to each other they could get grandpa back but then my mom thought twice and she remembered what went on there and she said we can't she said it was dangerous and her brother was like you're right so they left the room but before they could open the door grandpa came out flying they were both great. They both screamed for grandma. For my grandma. She came running in. And she saw him there. He didn't look like he aged a bit. He, t he said everything. And he said that a mirror. He said that the mirror was something different. He, he knew that there was something about the mirror. And he said, they looked, he looked at his family and they looked so, they looked three years older than they were when he left. And, well, he said, he said, kids, you, how old are you? My uncle, James, he said he was nine, and my mom said that she was eight. He was, like, he didn't know what to think. And my, my grandma said that he's been gone for three years. He was like, no. You're wrong. I've only been gone for uh, about three months. And James was kind of a really weird science freak when he was little like that. So he said, that must mean you were in a time, different dimension. In, in different dimensions, the time frame is different. And he, he said, it was good for three years. I missed three years of your life, the ladies. And they said yes. But they decided that nobody should ever use the room again. So. They left the room. Undid the match. I mean, splashed water over the fire or lantern. <laughs> okay, whatever. They turned off the lantern and he left, placing a lock on the door and leaving. This is a tale of this mirror that runs in my family forever. Beyond the Glass, a story of true adventure.